We begin, though, with the guilty verdicts in the Buffalo Billion trial. It started as a federal probe prompted by reporting right here at Two on Your Side by our partners at Investigative Post. Now, all the defendants, including Buffalo businessman Lou Simonelli, are guilty. A Manhattan jury found the four defendants guilty on all charges in the bid rigging case involving the Buffalo Billion. That includes former LP Simonelli president Louis Simonelli, who received the $750 million contract to build the Riverbend factory in South Buffalo, and Elaine Calieros, who was the SUNY Poly president and worked closely with the governor on economic development projects. Jim Heaney with Investigative Post started looking into the Buffalo Billion in 2014. I got my hands on the RFP. Uh, the RFP showed 50-year requirement for developer. Only one company met that eligibility. That company was LP Simonelli. Prosecutors have subpoena power. Reporters don't. So there's only so far I could have gone. In 2016, the feds announced charges in the Buffalo Billion investigation. Now, less than two years later, the jury convicted Simonelli and Calieros of wire fraud and wire fraud conspiracy. Do you think eventually prosecutors will go after Governor Cuomo? Well, I think the first step's going to be appeals. You know, there's always appeals. Uh, I, I personally think the testimony, I think the most interesting part of the testimony had to do with how the governor's office installed Todd Howe in Carlieros's office to be the governor's eyes and ears. That to me draws a direct line between the governor's office and Carlieros. Uh, through Todd Howe. And it's to me, it's implausible that the governor's people would not be at a minimum aware of what's, what was going on, if not orchestrating it themselves. Calieros faces a maximum sentence of 60 years in prison. Simonelli faces a maximum of 40 years. They'll be sentenced in October.